You don't need to be a clairvoyant to see your bright future before it happens, and in fact, it's very easy to do. Confused? You won't be after you've seen this video. Now, most people believe that we think in thoughts. That is to say, we have an inner monologue that works like the thought bubbles in comic books. Recently, though, more research suggests that we think in lots of modalities. Sometimes we visualize. Sometimes we imagine our bodies doing something and almost feel what we're thinking. And sometimes we just know. And this latter example is called unsymbolized thought. In fact, thinking with our bodies and our senses might just be what enabled us to develop thought in the first place. Now, briefly, embodied cognition is the idea that all our thoughts eventually relate back to physical experience. So, you can imagine something because you've done it. When someone says something to you, or when you think something, your brain interprets this in such a way that it gives it meaning. You don't inherently understand language, which means the brain must be translating it into some kind of pure meaning. Psychologists once believed that the brain had a language of its own that they called mental ease. More recently, though, more and more experts adopted the belief that we understand things by visualizing them. When someone tells you a story, you understand the story because your brain visualizes it happening to you. Now, when somebody tells you that they walked along the beach, you visualize the color of the sand. You imagine the sea breeze on your skin and you almost hear the sound of the waves breaking. When we think higher level thoughts, we understand them only because we can relate them back to our own physical experiences via abstraction. Maths, after all, is fundamentally based on counting. This is also consistent with the idea that areas of our brain light up during visualization, just as though we are really engaging in the action. So, if you imagine yourself swinging a golf club, then the neurons relating to that movement will fire in your brain, and as far as your brain and body is concerned, it might as well be happening. Don't believe that visualization can trick your brain into thinking something is happening and thereby alter your emotional state? Well, just try reliving some of your most upsetting moments or imagining scenes from a very sad movie, and you'll start to feel incredibly sad in no time. So, how can you use this power of visualization to improve your productivity or to help you achieve your goals? Well, there are a number of different ways. The best way is just to imagine what it will feel like to achieve your goals. Create a detailed mental image of the desired outcome using all of your senses. For example, if your goal is to lose weight, Imagine what it will be like to put on a pair of jeans in your desired smaller size. Imagine what it will feel like to walk down the street wearing them. Think of the compliments you'll get from friends and family. Imagine how good that's going to feel. The anticipation of getting the desired result can act as an incentive for you to go out and achieve the goal. You can't wait to experience those feelings for real. Now visualize the opposite. Imagine it all going wrong and then remember why it matters. You can do the same thing with almost anything you're struggling to focus on. By linking what you're doing back to the emotional hook and the reason that you're doing it, you can much more effectively find the determination and drive that you need to complete it. Keep your goals in mind and you'll be much more motivated every day to get out of bed and start working out or to work on your personal project or to practice your musical instrument or to put in your very best performance at your work.